Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. The West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection was honored by Environmental Council of the States recently, receiving a state program innovation award for its Muddy Creek Restoration Project. States were invited to submit videos showcasing the results of innovative programs and approaches that were then voted on by the attendees at the ECOS fall meeting. Here's the DEP's Cabinet Secretary, Austin Caperton, with our entry. Hello, I'm Austin Caperton. Acid mine drainage has been a major source of water pollution throughout Appalachia, impacting thousands of miles of streams like this one behind me. Many methods to eliminate acid drainage have been effective and are still used, but none have been able to fully restore our most severely impacted watersheds like here in Muddy Creek. Mining in this watershed began in the 1800s. The creek was already severely impaired when mine blowouts in the 1990s wiped out all remaining aquatic life in its lower five miles. We needed a different approach. Initially, we were at point source, treating each and every special reclamation site. Well, we also have acid mine drainage from abandoned mine land sites that also contribute. Acid water treatment in West Virginia has been a decades long series of small steps. We took a giant leap last year and it's bringing miles of stream back from the dead. It made more sense economically and environmentally to consolidate all headwater sources into one processing plant. Here at the TNT combined treatment facility near Albright, incoming water is mixed with a slurry of lime and polymers. The metals, iron, aluminum, and manganese, settle to the bottom of these two 80-foot clarifiers. The treated water is returned to Mighty Creek and the sludge is processed. The difference is obvious and amazing. For someone who hasn't been here for 25 years, if they were coming here today and uh, got to walk along the banks of Muddy Creek, they, they might not even recognize the stream. It's that different. Our amazing staff engineered and designed this plant. Southwestern Energy, our industry partner, stepped up. They funded construction of pipelines from all acid drainage sources within the watershed as part of their freshwater neutral initiative. They also agreed to subsidize operating expenses of the plant. Water is a precious commodity uh, and, and projects where we can restore um, damage to a water environment that was caused by other people but bring the ability for that, those streams to regrow um, life, regrow the opportunity for people to, to play and be around them is a, a real, real value to me personally and I've seen the results of that in this project. Working with the EPA, OSM, and Friends of the Cheat, our innovative approach will result in the first ever in-stream NPDES permit issued in the country. One single permit will supersede all previous permits in the watershed. Muddy Creek is adding alkalinity to the cheat, which is helping maintain a pH that's allowing walleye to spawn. We can talk about pH, we can talk about metal concentrations, but for the public, you know, being able to go down to Albright and catch a walleye, that's restoration to them. That's, that's the real value to the folks who live here. And Muddy Creek is a lot. Our video was produced by the DEP's Mike Huff. West Virginia and Wyoming were honored in the Air, Water, Waste, and Emergency Response category. Programs in Texas and Indiana were also honored. Find out more about the Environmental Council of the States and the work they do by visiting its website, ecoast.org. That's all for this week. For Environment Matters, I'm Annette Hoskins. Thanks for watching.